welcome to my tasting room. First uh, new vid of the year, I think, on Wine with Chris. And tonight, I'm uh, going to try and keep it short, but we've got an interesting proposition. Some of you, or maybe most of you, will um, be familiar with this wine. Leoin Estate Art Series Cabernet Sauvignon 2009 from the world famous Margaret River. This estate actually um, from quite far south in the Margaret River region um, opened in 1972, one of the one of the first uh, vineyards to hit that region. Uh, and it was actually Robert Mondavi didn't open the estate, but he apparently was um, nudging um, the, the producer to, to set up the estate. So Robert Mondavi was a big influence in getting this thing off the ground back in back in the early 70s. Um, now I've got an opportunity to buy a later vintage of this. Uh, I think it's the 2012. Um, and I'm just wondering, this is a wine that has um, excited me and then also frustrated me over the years. It's been one of the star Christmas Day wines and it was very fine uh, wine a few years ago on Christmas Day, but I've had it on other occasions when it's really let me down and I just haven't been impressed. So um, I'm a big fan of Margaret River Cabernet Sauvignon, but at the same time, sometimes I think they can be a little bit muted. Everything's just dialed back a little bit and you wonder, is it really worth it? Why am I really loving this wine? Uh, why am I really paying this type of money? So what I've decided to do is taste the last of the art series that I have, basically to see whether it's worth buying more. And I thought the best thing to do was maybe to have a compare. So um, doing it a disservice, but this is a fantastic Chateau Belgrave, 2005 from the Hope Madoc. Uh, so a fine wine in its own right, and maybe we'll talk about it at a different time. But I just wanted something to, uh, to compare and contrast. Um, I had hoped this was a full Cab Sauve, but actually it's 50% Cabernet Sauvignon and actually 42% Merlot. Bit of Cab Franc, bit of um, uh, Petit Verdot in it as well. So kind of not quite a, a, a great compare, I suppose, but it's a traditional Bordeaux left bank Cab Sauve. So hopefully it's of worth. So we've got them here in the glasses. This is some of the art series. Uh, I have read that uh, the Margaret River, of course, with many red wines, decant it, let it open up, and that's when it really comes into its own. So that's uh, for the steak later on this evening. But in here, we've got the um, the Belgrave and, and the art series. I don't know which one is in which. So let's see which do I like best, and also let's see if I can pick it. So starting with this one, uh, well, looking at them both, in fact, there's there's very little uh, difference in colour. The Belgrave is obviously 15 years old, the art series only 11. I thought that was reasonable because Bordeaux do tend to age longer than many other regions, so I thought that was not a bad comparison. Um, but let's start, let's start with this one. So, if I smell that, it's, um, it's quite sweet on the nose, classic Cabernet Sauvignon, so I'm not. I'm not really able to tell is that the Bordeaux or or the Art series, um, but there is a there is a sweetness to it. So so maybe that's a bit of a hint. Interestingly, that one when you smell it is um, if this was the only one in the room and you smelled it, you might go classic Bordeaux. It's just got that instantly recognisable sort of rustic, slightly metallic, not austere but very regal. Um, regal red fruit re, fruit smell and that one's slightly sweeter so we'll maybe we'll maybe hedge on on that side for the art series but let's see how these things taste oh it's really um great balance great body it, it, it there is there is a little bit of sweetness to the fruit but but not in a not in a, a bad way or overwhelmingly very very smooth lovely wine good balance of tannins and acidity absolutely nothing wrong with that wine let's try this one and that's also delicious they're they're really I guess I'm part answering my own question of whether to buy more of the art series Neither of these wines has anything wrong with them. They're both very, very good wines. Obviously the Bordeaux from a great year. I'm not quite sure on whether 09 was a good uh, Margaret River year. I should know, but I don't. Um, but both of those wines feel on top of their game. Not too old, 
not too young, just really, really fantastic uh, wines. Uh, and great value, I guess, both around £40. Again, I was trying to match the, the prices. I think the Art Series is now going for 42 I don't know about the Belgrave uh, of that vintage, but certainly around 40 quid for, for, the, for the modern ones, I'm sure. Um, I don't want to waste too much time on the video. I want to keep it tight. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and say that I think this is probably the art series on the left. That's just, that's just a very well-made classic style left bank Bordeaux from a good year. Everything is in balance and it's singing. And this one, I think what distinguishes it, I'll just have another quick taste. It's, it, it sacrifices a little bit of that Bordeaux re regality, um, that, that, that just sort of uh, great structure that a Bordeaux has, but in its place um, is, is not a lack of structure, but more slightly more fruit forward, a little bit more acidity, uh, and, and that tinge of sweetness, which I think is, is a good thing. Maybe it's from the extra heat, um, uh, uh, in, in Margaret River versus Bordeaux. What's interesting is some of the finest Cab Sauvignon regions in the world are on the west coast of countries. You, know, you think about Napa, you think about Bordeaux, and you think about Margaret River, and I'm sure it's no accident. Um, but there's definitely a distinction there, and I think I'll go with that. I've got the little piece of paper that's going to tell me. Yeah, and, and there we go. So the art series is on the left. I think the purpose of this video and of trying this wine was really to decide, do I want more of it in the cellar? And I think uh, I'll, I'll enjoy it with some steak this evening and, and mull over my decision. But right now, the answer is definitely yes. I think at £40 a bottle, it is obviously not an everyday wine, obviously not a cheap wine, but as an investment for the cellar, I think Art Series, um, we deserve more of it in there. Uh, and so I'll be thinking seriously about that tomorrow. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to speaking to you again soon. Happy drinking.